In this edition of UTA Spotlight, we take a look at a local restaurant that has a true passion for its community. And we take a look at a Korean ramen shop where you can explore many flavors. We will also talk about the Kendo Club and how to join. UTA Spotlight starts now. Welcome to UTA Spotlight, where we tell you what's going on at UT Arlington. I'm David Wisenhunt. And I'm Leslie Solis Hernandez. Thank you for joining us. Another local restaurant is making sure to add a little spice to its customers' lives. Reporter Vanessa Johnson saw firsthand on how this local cafe has managed to keep its loyal customer base. Everything I prepare here is straight from the heart. Not for the love, not for the love of money, for, but the love of cooking. Damien's Cajun Soul Cafe is a family-owned business that offers a Cajun cuisine menu. The owner, Damien, a Louisiana native, opened the restaurant in 2008 and has since expanded and moved locations. But it all started with a man, a dream, and a recipe book. I love to cook. And the whole concept about uh, coming, bringing Damien's Cajun soul to life, my mom has a restaurant in uh, New Iberia, Louisiana. She's been, she been in business for the last 33 years. So I just took her concept and brought it to Texas. While you can normally expect a line of customers, the service is always welcoming and friendly. Many of the customers are regulars and big fans of the food. I mean, the food was good even when I came back. I liked it, the, you know, the customer service. It's hard to always get somebody. Then they, you come, he remembers you. And my little girl loves the place. The restaurant exhibits the culture of Louisiana as well as its southern hospitality. And that's one experience I'd like everybody to come, come experience over here. Good food and a family-oriented atmosphere. The menu changes daily, but the restaurant is only open from Tuesday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. UTA News, I'm Vanessa Johnson. The restaurant is celebrating 15 years of being in business. To congratulate them and try one of their Cajun dishes, you can find them at 2000 Southeast Green Oaks Boulevard, Suite 190 here in Arlington. Something is cooking over at the Central Library in the form of soul food. The event led by Milan Murray is part of the Maverick Kitchen series held at the UTA Central Library. The event seeks to teach students how to cook soul food with either fish or chicken. It got its name from the word soul that was commonly used in the 1960s throughout African American communities in the South. When cooking soul food, the food is either covered in breadcrumbs and spices and then fried. I think I like how she explained about the history of everything, about the food and culture. Yeah, I was mainly cooking for the sides, and <laughs> I wish we learned how to cook those, but the mac and cheese and the collard greens, the collard greens I'm trying for the first time. You can learn more about the experiential learning and outreach at libraries.uta.edu. Or if you want to try soul food, there's a few places right around Arlington. Namu Korean Bowl is a restaurant located right off campus in Abram Alley. Reporter Kylie Texa took a visit. When you walk into Namu Korean Bowl, you are greeted with a friendly environment filled with different colors and options to choose from. In Korean, Namu means tree. At the back of the restaurant, there is a wooden tree decorated with pictures and little messages. Each of the decorations comes from employees and customers alike posing for pictures and leaving notes. There is a wide variety of items on the menu. Each bowl comes with steamed rice, noodles, carrots, radish, green beans, a spring roll, and your choice of protein. Today I'm at Namu Korean Bowl. I ordered the Fresh Ocean, which comes with shrimp, rice, noodles, greens, and a spring roll. It also comes with the free water, and I ordered some miso soup on the side. If you want to add any additional sauce to your meal, you can grab a bottle of any extra dressing and take it back to your table. The whole experience is customizable and catered to your taste. It is very exciting to get to pick exactly what you want and perfect it to your liking. The food was delicious and fulfilling while still being healthy and personalized. Namu Korean Bowl is open Monday through Thursday, 11 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 to 9 p.m., and Sunday, 11 to 7 p.m. Kylie Texta, UTA News. For more information, you can find them on Instagram at Namu Korean Bowl. When we come back, we will catch up on men's baseball and their current matchups. And we will also discover how Kendo Club brings a new sporting culture to UTA. COVID-19 has changed how we show up and show out with our family. 
Now it's time to take the first step that lets us get back to talking smack with the side of mac and cheese. Before we can safely come together, we need the facts. As COVID-19 vaccines become available, you may have questions. Should I get it? Is it safe? Should I wait? It's smart to question. Now, get the facts at GetVaccineAnswers.org so you can make an informed decision when vaccines are available to you. Hey Mavericks, let's talk sports. Welcome back to UT Sports. I'm Jonathan Davis. UT Baseball had its home opener on Friday, February 24th. Joshua Tipton was there to cover it. Nearly 400 fans filed their way into the bleachers at Clay Gould Ballpark Friday night to watch the Mavericks take on the Cowboys of McNeese State. The Mavericks coming in were looking to snap a three-game losing skid. However, as the game went on, some players were struggling mightily. Yeah, I mean, Gabe, I mean, Gabe gave us, gave us, you know, six cold innings. I mean, you know, the, the first run he gives up is on a, on a botched rundown. You know, the second one he gives up, you know, outfielder kind of drifts to the ball. You know, he could have easily gone out of there with, with no runs. Um, you know, and then, you know, you get a drop pop up and you're out of the inning. Um, you know, and then they just started, you know, stringing together some hits. When the night began, the some 399 fans that attended this game were anticipating perhaps a thrilling matchup. But as far as McNeese is concerned, it couldn't have gone better, while the UTA faithful sunk lower and lower and lower into their seats as the game progressed. Three costly errors would doom the Mavericks' hopes to win at home. Baseball's a funny thing, momentum. Starts so creeping up. Once one team gets momentum, it's hard to get it back. Head coach Clay Van Hook knows that there are improvements to be made through the rest of this season. You see the runs that come up on the pitchers, but you know defensively we've got to do a better job of helping them out and making the plays that we should. While the Mavericks lost again on Saturday, they won on Sunday 12-6. Thus the Mavericks now sit at a 2-6 record ahead of a Wednesday night matchup against Oklahoma. Joshua Tipton, UTA News. It has been a difficult start for new coach Clay Van Hook and the Mavericks baseball tonight. In Hook's first game against his former team, it's sure to be an exciting matchup between the Mavericks and the Sooners. Back to you guys. If you're looking to dabble in martial arts, a club at UTA has you covered. Kendo, or Way of the Sword, is a traditional Japanese martial art of sword fighting. There are only four body parts that you can target to score a point in Kendo, making this game different from other martial arts. We teach people how to discipline themselves by learning how to use a katana. It's not just people like swinging wooden swords at each other to, to beat each other up. Whenever you strike, there's a purpose behind that. There's intent. There's like, it, you're not just like hitting something to hit something. If you're interested in sharpening your self-defense skills, check out the Kendo Club's Instagram at UTA Kendo. That's all we have for today in this edition of UTA Spotlight. To stay up to date with us, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter at UTA News. I'm David Wisenhunt. And I'm Leslie Solis Hernandez. Thank you for joining us.